Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading My In-Laws Are Obsessed With Me, episode 45 to 46. Due to Webtoon's policy, I do the blur 50% of each episode. So yes, cat logos going up or else my channel will be get taken down. For anyone out there who do want to support me, I do have all these reads without any censorship, any blurs, and you guys also gain early access to my reads. They're all available on patreon.com slash CKT chaotic. And yes, all your pledge now, I haven't really announced it officially, will be going towards baby stuff. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna sit here and talk too much about it, but let's go ahead and get started. Uh, all right. Uh, please excuse me, Your Grace. His Grace has asked for you. He must have finished his talk with the crown princess. Oh, all right. Mind if I join you? Uh, hmm? Me too! I want to go too! Huh? My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 45. They all... He wants to join? Everyone's coming in the end. Uh, but why on earth is he tagging along to see the Grand Duke? Hmm. He's such a beauty. <clears throat> to tell you the truth, I should be the one to pay you back. After all, that wouldn't have happened in the first place if you hadn't gone there to see me. I am to blame. But instead of faulting me, you said you wanted to repay me. I felt too ashamed to send a reply. But please... Don't hesitate to ask for my service if you need anything in the future. <gasps> no? What? Just tell us what happened between between you two. V very well. But, Adius, did you also want to see the Grand Duke up close? Well, everyone is curious about him. <sighs> <laughs> Actually, I despise the man. Oh, huh? I'm a, I'm shocked too. <laughs> I just do. <laughs> mm. What did he have to say that out loud? Why why is he coming with me then? Oh, uh. Ooh, the cold look. Your grace. These ladies are my friends, and this is Adias Potson. Potson? Potson. Huh. Awkward. After what A Adias told me just now, I don't know where to look. Now, if you excuse me, Your Grace. Us too. We look forward to seeing you again, Your Grace. <laughs> Clunk, clunk. Uh, I'm exhausted. So many people approached us even after that. Your Grace, Your Grace. He's rather popular. The Crown Princess seems to have a keen interest in you. Uh, me? She needs firm support for her power, so she she's always asking my opinion. But today, she only asked about you. Oh, she must be curious about me because I came with a Grand Duke, who's almost a stranger to social gatherings. Wasn't it the Ninth Princess that's interested in him? Not the Crown Princess, right? Yeah, I think I mi mixed up the people. So, is it my turn to speak? Um, I met with my friends and talked about my business. All right, the book on your desk was a collection of cases, was it not? Yes. The book Parashati brought from the study. Is that also why you've been spending time at social events of late? Well, that too, but I also want to prepare for the future. I see. 
He looks so sad there. Are you going to attend other balls as well? I don't know yet. I shall have to leave again tomorrow. Two of Gagan's clients, the ones who've been trading our family's blood, are missing. Write me if you ever need me. I shall do, I shall do my best to come back in time. All right. Oh, and if you find the list of buyers, could you also check if anyone from my family is on it? Fine. Anything else? Pardon? What are you doing? Oh my goodness, she's trying to hide her bone. No. Go away. Shoo shoo. I'm reading. Uh, by any chance, so you wish to use the banquet hall in the residence? Uh, Theo told me about it. Indeed, I suppose it'd be difficult to host a ball in the count, count them as a grand duchess. Do as you wish. But it hasn't been decided yet. I'm afraid too many guests might come. I'm, I'm worried something will go wrong. No matter. We could hold the ball in the annex. But it's the first party ever to be held in this residence. Isolated Lapillians. <laughs> I was so... I was sure she'd say no. But there is something I don't understand. Yes. Pray tell. Why did you say that you'll bear the cost? Uh? Huh? Because I'm the one throwing it. Yeah, like, she wasn't going to expect that party to be out of the family's budget when she's not really part of the family, you know? Because I'm going to be hosting the party after all. Whatever the case, you belong to our family now. So the Lapillians should shoulder the cost. Uh. Our family's guild, the Lebrons, hold a fundraising auction every year as an external event. It's far from a party, but the, ma a the main aim is to raise funds through the auction all the same. We usually hold the events during the harvesting season in the second half of the year. But perhaps we can have it earlier this year. Hosting the party with the Lebrons would make things much easier. My in-laws are obsessed with me. Episode 46 I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Things have been rather hectic lately because the trade schedule got mixed up. I had to come back in the middle of my last business trip. Then you must be very busy. Oh, it's fine. And I heard about your party. So you're planning to hold an auction at the fundraising at a fundraising party. Have you decided what to put up for auction? Oh, I've thought of some appropriate items for from the court count. Ugh. I thought of some appropriate items from the countum. Many nobles will be coming to the party since it's being held in the Grand Duke's manor, even if it's just the annex. So the more items, the better. Hmm. We have lots of items we imported from abroad. But if I, if I may, I heard that the LeBron's auction is not a party. So is it really all right to host a party with me? <laughs> well, we'd normally hold the auction for merchants. But targeting nobles isn't a bad idea either. Besides, it would ease some of the burden if we work together. Are you sure you want to leave now? It'd be nice to see the items together before you go back. Next time. I'm afraid it would take too long if I make a stop at the warehouse. I would also like to be back before Selfie comes home. But still... We're already out this far. <sighs> hey, 
His grace said that Selfie was acting strange of late. I'm worried about him. And Selfie found out about the marriage contract, too. Is that so? Well, Theo can be rather overprotective of that child. <sighs> I'll see you at the residence soon. Your Grace. Oh, come, you... You come out to see Selfie? Pardon? But young Master Selfie is already back in the house. He said he wished to have a stroll alone today. Is he distancing himself from her now? That's really sad. He sent the servants away and went alone. Does something happen to him? I should have come back sooner. Do you all wish to be fired? Huh? Sounds like it's coming from upstairs. That voice. Is that Selfie? Who is it? Didn't you hear me? Throw her in a cell right this instance. Wait, my lord. Oh. Oh, it's Selfie. Housekeeper, haven't I told you to discipline them properly? You said you couldn't force the servants to change their opinions about her grace, but you promised that you'd talk, you'll talk some sense into them. That's why I let it slide. But look what happened again. How do you explain that? Keep them all out without any letters of recommendation. M my lord, please forgive us. We we're foolish. Please have mercy. Selfie. Uh, your grace, what's going on here? We only said it's such a pity that your grace would be leaving soon. We were thankful about the lighter workload ever since you came. You still don't get what you've done wrong, do you? And you, haven't I warned you already? How dare you talk so freely about the Grand Duchess that you serve? The stern look on her face is actually kind of terrifying. I asked the housekeeper. Your Grace. You can talk about me. I don't mind. But shouldn't you at least be careful in the residence? And particularly in the presence of the heir to this house. Take them away. Oh, but I'm not letting this go as it is. We shall discuss what to do with them later. Yes, Your Grace. Wow, this is a is a little bit of a dark, but not like dark, dark turn. But it's a little bit of like you can see a shift. In Parashati. Like, she's norma normally very quiet, she's easygoing, she's very thoughtful and caring, but to see her switch from that stern look, like, you are in trouble. Like, that mother, like, that, you almost like, not alpha, but like that mother leader look and talk is actually very terrifying. Like, the shift from this person that we kind of read for like 45, 40, four episodes to this one to see her shift like that it is insane love it i love it i want to see more of this because i wish she did it with her stepmom when her stepmom's trying to pull this these tricks and lies and bamboozles and traps and all that stuff trying to get rid of her and trying to get the properties and stuff like that all the money i wish she had that tone with her mom her stepmom but we shall see all right guys if you guys enjoyed the way i read and reacted to this webtoon feel free to subscribe leave a thumbs up check out my patreon page and i'll catch you guys next time bye